ladies, guess what? I'm doing something that you probably shouldn't do, but uh, it needs done. I've got this Honda 9.9 right here, and it's a beautiful, awesome running motor. And I picked it up cheap from a friend, and uh, he didn't really have a use for it. And this is going to be the perfect trolling motor for my boat. I've had lots of other trolling motors, but usually they're a two-stroke. And with my Suzuki, uh, I run this one. It's an auto mix, so it, it mixes its own two-stroke oil. So my fuel tank in this boat is just straight-up raw gas. So... I'm going to show you how I did that to this Honda. Was a short, now it's a long. Check this video out. Check this out. 1996 Honda 99. I've just removed the lower unit. It's right here. This is a short shaft. Um, but as you can see, the transom on my boat is of equal height. So this is not long enough by like a lot. I mean, it works, but you're pulling water from about here instead of here. So your turning capabilities, your throttle control, there's a lot of limitation when you're running a short shaft on a regular boat. Yes, it's in the water, and yes, it feeds the, the water pump enough to cool the motor. I mean, it all works, it's just, it's not very efficient, and it sucks. Um, so I could buy a, extension housing and a shaft and everything a whole kit to do this motor but the only source is ebay and it's like fifteen hundred dollars and i paid like less than 300 for this motor and it runs phenomenal um so check this out i just pulled this lower unit and you look at this spline and you think yeah no chance i can recreate that but all I need is an extension of this shaft, and look what I found. Square. So all I need to do is take this shaft and make it about this much longer with an adapter. And then the water pipe, that seems like it'd be pretty easy to extend. And then this here shift linkage, same, same. So yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to, uh, Extend the shaft, extend this, extend that, and I'm gonna build an adapter that's going to extend the actual housing. So, really, as far as doing that, I mean, I've got, I mean, I can do some pretty good size amount of meat, just a piece of plate, like some maybe, maybe I could even get away with like three and a half or four inch flat bar aluminum and drill four holes in it, cut this center section out, cut a slot for this and make an additional one that matches it that's going to go up above it and then just bridge the pieces to bridge these two flat bars one here one here obviously I'm, I'm talking like seven inches and uh, bridge them together with a wall weld it all together so that I can access the bolts or drill and tap or you know whatever it takes in order to make an adapter for the housing it's got to be stupid strong in case you take a stump but really quarter inch would be more than adequate and then uh yeah i'm thinking an extension on this is something i can probably fabricate well let's see how it goes Well, this is about as far as I could get using a shot press and some angle iron. So it's pretty close actually if I just pinch these two to together. Okay, so many hours later, this was not easy. I mean, not even freaking close to easy. But there it is. There's my extension. 
Not the most attractive thing, but it will work. I mean, the bends were extremely difficult. I don't have the right equipment to do that. <laughs> My welds aren't exactly great either, but my TIG machine's at home and use the wire feed here. So, I mean, it should work. And then my extension shaft, also extra crude. Bada bing, just like that. So, Am I in the right hole? Yeah. There we go. There it is. That's gonna go back on the motor eight and a half inches longer than it ever was. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up with some sort of uh, vibration, but as long as it's not too bad, I don't think it's gonna wipe any bearings out. I don't ever run this thing at very high speed. I mean, it's just for trolling, so. I'm thinking if I paint that, it might be a little more attractive, but. Okay, let's go put it together. Okay, I've got eight millimeter, 125 pitch all thread in here that I just cut to length. I gotta buy another piece, um, so, because I'm short. Got this much left. Uh, yeah, 8 mil 125. So I gotta buy another chunk of that. And I've got this piece, which is 6 mil 10. Oh, and that's, uh, and I've got this here nut. And that's gonna go on here for my shift linkage extension. Well, holy crap, I did it. So that was extremely difficult. Uh, the water pump pipe, I just extended with a chunk of rubber hose and a piece of copper tubing uh, with a little tiny bit of electrical tape on it because it's a 10 millimeter hose and what I had was a 3 8 copper tube. So that way I made it just a little bit wider and uh, shaft all lined up and then the shift linkage all lined up and then these pieces of all thread all lined up. That was a pain in the butt to get all of those things correlating together. But uh, but yeah, that's installed. And I do need to one more piece of all thread for that guy. But uh, complete. Now I'm gonna drop it down and uh, see where we're at. Okay. Looking pretty good to me. I mean, she's hanging right where she should be. Cavitation plate is perfect. Makes the motor look kind of funny, but maybe I'll paint that, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, now really, I just gotta fire it up and make sure it all works. I mean, I can tell you that forward, she's all locked up, neutral, Spins free and reverse locked up. So I think I got the shift linkage good. Just need to see if it's uh, gonna vibrate. Okay, this is uh, highly against recommendations, but. Uh, I got to know if this thing's going to vibrate out of control or not. Not bad. Fantastic. Woo! I now have a long shaft Honda 99. Very cool. So yeah, this was uh, an adventure. Um, 
cost me a total of 20 bucks. The aluminum was kind of scrap metal. That stuff was just laying around. And then uh, the uh, all thread, a nut, the square tubing. I mean, that pretty done pretty cheap. And this is going to work really, really well. I'm excited to get it out on the water and go catch some fish. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, like always, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.